Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst, Adam Karlberg. Today we're gonna to be having a look at the price of natural gas. So we had a look at the price chart for natural gas not too long ago, but there's been some interesting developments over the last week that have potentially indicated a move further to the downside. So the major catalysts for the price of natural gas moving down at the moment are really the recessionary pressures that have engulfed much of the world and a lot of the industrialized world. And as recessionary pressures build, the idea is that the demand for natural gas may fall as industry starts to slow down. And this has led to uh, the price chart to the right. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna have a look at this weekly chart again. And some really important things to note are that, of course, we've um, been in this, prior to this big move um, earlier this year, and towards 2021, we had, of course, this long-term kind of range, um, as you can see here. And this price really was bouncing around almost for the entire for the entire decade. We just bounced around, bounced around, and this was largely until we got to the Russian-Ukraine crisis, and then we saw a big spike up in the price. Now, since then, of course, we broke out through this this uh, this range. We've come back, tested it, gone back up, and then we failed to hold this support level um, so far. So this is the second time we haven't been able to hold it. Although we were, a, we could more consider this a support zone. Held it, bounced back up, but we weren't a, weren't able to break above this level here, and that's important to note. So this became a pretty significant resistance level for us. So that's that. And just as importantly, we've had some pretty significant sell-off candles, including last week, which was a massive sell-off. Um, in fact, we dropped 18% in the for the price for just for that uh, week. And the other thing is that we broke through this 50-week moving average, so almost like that year, um, yearly, year weekly moving average. Now we are currently sitting at this long-term um, support. 5.339 and again this is still considered in our support zone so that is something to remember so long term we've seen this range we've broken out and we've come back into the range and now we are retesting this um, long term call it the top of the range or this um, support level so now as we have a look to the weekly just again of course we can see this this pattern um, the same pattern and as we can tell last week's sell-off was Fairly aggressive. I mean, going back even further than last week, it's just been sell, 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 sell. So there's clearly a lot of volume that's trying to get out, um, and a lot of positions either cl are closing. Now, generally speaking, when we've had such an upward move, what this chart does look like is, of course, a double top. Where we've been unable to break through, price has become exhausted, and we've come to retest. Now, if this is, ends up being a double top pattern, we would expect a little bit of a retest or a, a push back up before we break lower. So that's our first thing. Now, it's important to wait for this break here because for all we know, this price could still be consolidating, right? So it may still be consolidating and it may just, just bear with me guys, the mouse just being a bit slow. It may just bounce here and then go back up there and create that next leg up. However, we are waiting and watching to see what this next kind of position is. And if we are able to break through, if we are able to break through this neckline of the double bottom, so this is what we call this line here, this, um, this support is the neckline, and we are able to break through, we've got a nice target of 3.429. And if we can, we can set our short um, Let's just put up, get that target ready. It's a pretty nice risk reward um, for this trade. Pull this back down. And what we would do is we'd probably set it just above where that recent peak was. And here we can see it's a 2.2. But it's definitely one to watch, guys. Um, natural gas, been a pretty volatile mover so far this year. And especially towards the end of the year, expect to see some more movement. But Thanks for watching and good luck trading.